if you're like us, you like a good you like a good sing song, don't you? Everyone likes to sing. You know, every time we um, go live on this, we've got the countdown. You would have seen it if you watched the live stream. And there's, you know, there's a great song. It's a really good song. And Signore, he loves to sing along, didn't you? Every now and then. Yeah. He doesn't mind it at all. He sings. What's weird is there's a slight delay, though. So when he really sings it, it's about four seconds after we've actually heard the actual <laughs> line from you, Scott. <laughs> so it's <that's, that's laughs> quite amazing. But um our friend lee carsley who do we think is going to get the england job um just a quick one we're yeah. not the same person just to <laughs> let everyone know that <sighs> dear. yeah i know they they they're, they're quite similar um right go on is he getting <laughs> the job is your is your doppelganger getting the job um i'd like to think so you know Genuinely, I mean, I know we're the topic, what we're going to talk about after, but I've been very vocal on, on our group chat uh, before his first match and when he um, named the squad. I like the fact he's picked players like Morgan Gibbs-White and um, Angel Gomez. I think he's given them a real shot and um, he's worked his way like Gareth did when he got the position, like Gareth, like I know him, uh, when Southgate got the job. And um, I just feel like he's done very well with the under-21s and got to give him a chance. You know, no one expected Southgate to do so well. And, you know, apart from winning the World Cup 66 and obviously the you know, best man, England manager we've had, I, I, I think he's done a really good job with the like the the youth of England. So I'd, I'd give it to him myself. Because who else are you going to bring in? Like, who's actually going to be available? Graham Potter. Does anyone even know, know who he is? No. So, <laughs> so, yeah, give it to Carsley, in my opinion. All right, nice. All right, he's, he's swung. He's swung it for you. Has it swung it for you, um, Signori? Uh, I don't know. Swing <laughs> when you're winning. Swing when you're winning. Swing when you're winning. <laughs> very good, They're calling very it good. Carlsberg, aren't they? Is that what they're calling it? Well, yeah. Well, at least in Carlsberg, that is not a good. Uh, least, <laughs> they'll probably be the best football in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll, do you know what? Yeah, I could see a few things that were tweaked and different as like what Southgate was playing. And I think we've all been accustomed to like a certain style of England football over the past how long has Southgate been with us now? Three tournaments. Yeah. Four tournaments. Long so time. like I think we've become accustomed to that. So I think everyone would like a better name match next to it, but if 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 it worked, it worked, didn't it? Yeah, exactly, exactly. However, there has been news stories in the week about Lee Carsley. He doesn't sing. He's not a singer. He's not a singer like us. You know, he mm -hmm. won't sing the national anthem. He says he needs to needs to concentrate. And other players didn't sing the national anthem, did they? Gary Neville, I think, was one who didn't sing the national anthem. So what do you make of that, I Scott? I don't think Rooney could either. Oh. Does he yeah, but words? I don't think he could. There's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> good. <laughs> We both made the same joke at the same time. M, 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 M. God. I'm so sorry to everyone from Liverpool who's watching or listening. Um, right. Uh, what are we talking about? We're talking about Lee singing. Should, should Lee <laughs> Carsley sing? Should he be forced to sing? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I mean, I think people forget, even though he was born in the Midlands and obviously would have played for England, he decided to play for Republic of Ireland. You know, he was one of the, I think, one of the first players back in those days that decided to, to switch. And he is a Republic of Ireland international. I think people forget that. Mm -hmm. Like, you wouldn't see Potch or Pep sing God Save the King um, if they're, you know, Argentinian and Spanish, respectfully. So, yeah, I'm... Pff, What's more important, winning the match or seeing Lee Carsley sing before the start of the game? Mm. You know, I, yeah, that, that's just my opinion. You know, yeah, I mean, I think um, does it really matter? Much has been made of it, but I don't see. I don't think anyone's been that outraged, have they, Signori? I just think it's tabloids trying to sell tabloids, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Just a whole 100%. lot of nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. A bit like the. The Mo Salah story from last week, <laughs> um, but hey, we've got we've got to have our clickbait. Um, <clears throat> there was a great story. Now I I tried to look it up before the show, but I remember I think it was Mark Lawrenson 
who told this story a long time ago. Liverpool in the 80s. And they were just, it was before an important final, one of the many they had. And they were just sitting in the, um, the changing room. And the, the changing rooms of the two teams were like right next to each other. And one of the, one of the teams, one of the, mem- the players just started singing. Like really just re- singing this song really loud. And everyone joined in and it got louder and louder and louder. And I, th- I don't want to say it's definitely Mark Lawrence that said this, but they said basically that was the point at which we won the match because it just put like they heard that 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 sound almost you know when you're singing that loud it's like a battle cry almost you know and i think that's that really g'd them up and it put a bit of the terrors in the opposition so can can singing have that effect scott <laughs> yeah i mean does it make you scared i'm not sure about that but it just shows the passion doesn't it um for 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 what you want to do and um just put some thinking into the opposition that's how i would put it i don't know how to scare someone but make them think twice hmm. yeah absolutely we've had a comment in the chat which i'm mm. i'm i'm praying is sarcasm really wish we had lee carsley over the likes of frank gerard <laughs> skulls etc hashtag what could have been <laughs> thanks zach appreciate that mate <laughs> 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 thanks for joining oh, that's so good um yeah it's it's not a big deal sing if you want the thing is the thing it is that drives me mad about the national anthems actually before the game and it's it's a it's a it's a science thing is that the fact that the sound takes time to travel around so we get the instant broadcast of the national anthem through the tv but when we're hearing the crowd sing there's actually that slight delay including the players mm who are mouthing completely the wrong words at the wrong time, and it makes them look like they can't sing in time. No one can. It's just How a bit weird. How scientific of you. It's just a bit weird. Yeah, well, we're here for a bit of science on this show, aren't we? I think all we'll after that. But yeah, you know, national anthem, it's all fine. But it's just, just sort out the timing, guys. That's all. Mini music lesson there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 